Yo, what is up, gamers? We're checking out the Snake Eyes dice today from Community Remix. These guys are hella unique with the ability to not just re-roll an item, but re-roll it into a devil deal. With Ocular Rift being our first one, do we decide to take that? I uh, yeah, 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 sure, why not? So we're running Magdalene because this character obviously has a very big health pool to start us off. And every single chance that we get where I feel like I can take a devil deal, we will use the... Oh, hello, how you doing, Orboros? Yeah, I think I'll be taking this because it's fun. It's also a tears up until I get sick and tired of it. Uh, guys, I am sick and tired of it. <laughs> We're gonna be spamming the snake eyes as much as possible and trying to get as many devil deals as possible and see if we can't land anything good. That is the reason we are playing Maggie. She's gonna be able to take advantage of them more often than other characters just because she is just built that way. And you know, maybe we find something good. We want to make sure we have more than two hearts at all times though, because in case that we do find a god devil room item, that is gonna cost two red hearts. And the last thing I want is to find Brimstone or Mob's Knife or, you know, Twisted Pear or whatever and not be able to take it because I'm Bozo. A couple of bombs from these buttons in this area. We have a treasure room available. Let's snake eyes that area. And maybe it will be a fat play. That's actually a really good golden chest. All really good pickups in general. Tinted Rock here is also the reason why I'm not too worried about snake eyesing this area. Oh, no, no, it's good, dude. SMB, I will be taking it. But that's the thing. This works for every single pedestal, so we can just use it on the boss room instead if we feel like we need it. I am pretty curious what's inside the shop. It's wow, I didn't even know Plan C could be in here. Did I know that? What the hell? Has Plan C always been able to be in the shop pool? But well, whatever, you're getting rolled. Okay, I'm taking that. <laughs> wow, what a powerhouse item. I do have a significant amount of bombs and I actually got the super secret room. Very cool. Black heart, some pills, some bombage. Amnesia is good to know considering we already kind of full cleared everything and arranged up is nice. We shall destroy this boss with ease and I think I had a battery in the shop, so we can even turn this guy into a devil deal if we feel like we need to. So far, the devil deals have been crazy, so I definitely think I will be doing it. No matter how you put it, no matter how you swing it, Ocular Rift and Guppy's Eyes Start is uh, very unnatural, but very, very good. Alright, we are given a caffeine pill. Nine times out of ten, I would have taken this. But I really am curious about what's going on with this item. I want to use it as much as I can when I feel comfortable, so let's do it instead. Also, while wow, it was a lot of money. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, if it's that easy to get money all the time, why don't I just go blow up a bank? Payday style. I, you know, I think maybe the Joker was onto something. Okay, bye. Azazel's Rage. This item, I always find kind of mid. It's like not that crazy, you know? It's just brimstone, but it's not even real brimstone. It's like a fakie. Bad decision overall, I would say. We move on and we immediately find another treasure room. And the thing that's incredible about this specific interaction and this item is that Devil Deals can always kind of tell you how good they are based on how many hearts they cost so even if we have blind right now which we do if we see a two heart deal i always recommend just taking it if you can because that thing most definitely is going to be godly i would say that's genuinely the one thing that devil deals have over angel rooms when you are faced with a blind left right angel room you have no idea what you're gonna do and you will choose the left item and the right item will be sacred heart and you're gonna have to cry about it devil deals though same scenario left item right item blind but one of them's two hearts you know that's probably gonna be brim lust locked in place another range up and we do have a key and snake eyes available so let's apply that gamer logic that we just mentioned to this area and there you go it's a two heart deal and eye of the occult okay cool the other item was guppy so it's a bit unfortunate we would have had two three but considering i am running literally only double deals i i don't think we're gonna not get guppy I would say it's only a matter of time. Also gotta make sure that you know that when you do take a devil deal from this item, you're gonna be locked into devil deals. You can't just take a random devil deal item, pay for hearts, and then hopefully, yeah, oh my god, I'm gonna get angel rooms afterwards. That's just not the case. You are committed to evil acts. You might as well just own up to it. Kill here. I don't know what this is. Okay, that's not too good. Not the worst in the world though. We are rewarded a cricket's leg from this mob challenge room. That's gonna be good DPS generally. And the more DPS we have, the better, because that means we're gonna clear rooms faster we're gonna get hit less and all that hp that we're gonna save is gonna go to uh getting more devil deals and more damage crane game not the case i will probably pay you out I, i'm gonna pay you out we all know how much beggars love to pay out with dog food come on okay well that's actually even better i will take that absolutely thank you very much 
I was expecting some kind of dog food dessert play, so I had more effective money to pay for devil deals, but this is also really good. When I am blind though, I will not be going to the shop. As much as I really want to live the lifelong dream of like doing that storage container thing, you know, where, like the TV show where everyone does the, uh, what is it? Like they, they buy a storage container and then they try and figure out how much the storage container had inside of it, like how much it was worth. That's effectively the exact same thing for me with uh, blind items in the shop. I really want to do that, but that's real life and this is Binding of Isaac, which actually matters more to me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to do the storage container thing just yet, but one day, maybe when I'm 50 years old and I finally get around to it, I'll record myself doing it and we'll see that I've become a multi-millionaire because I just happened to choose the right storage container. We have a lot of hearts and we got another HP up, so no reason not to go here. And this is interesting. These one heart deals are meh, but I'm curious about you, Ma the Void. I mean, that was definitely incredible. Can't afford anything else. We're never going to know what they are. I don't really care about what they are. I'm just happy with what we got. I, oh, what, are you kidding me? <laughs> I got no complaints because the run is mega powerful, but at the same time, the run where I decide to run the dice cannot also be the run where I get Perma Curse of Blind, please. Something I would like to test, which I imagine would work, but I'm not too sure, is that if we go to a devil room and, you know, just press spacebar, do they just get re-rolled into more devil items? I'm certain that's the case, but sometimes when I'm certain of something in Isaac for, like, something I'm new to, I'm completely wrong if I don't know about it. I'm not gonna risk anything here, not even a snake eyes, not until I get enough cash. Because if I roll that, I wouldn't even be able to afford it, so I might as well go for the freebies in case I don't get the amount of HP. We're gonna have to see if I land it. Uh, yeah, yeah. okay, you know what? I mean, I, I just said that I wouldn't do the storage container thing, but this is two blinds in a row, so what do I get? Oh, I just got like plus $100. Watch your profanity. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. What the is this? Watch your profanity. Right, I'm sorry. Yo, Turtlet, what's up, King? How you doing? Later, dude. Okay, more HP and more HP. You guys think I can hit this black heart without stopping and not actually like hit the- Oh, <laughs> not hit the trap door. That was kind of nasty with it. Master of movement. And this is another scenario where I want to take this guy. Hey, that's great. I also really want to take this, but it was a one heart deal. I mean, that's not to say that one heart deals can't be good, but at the same time, like, uh, wait, oh, this is perfect. We can see if it changes. Boom. It definitely changed. Uh, I, I don't know what it changed into. <laughs> Hello? Oh, ugh. <laughs> Not good. Uh, give me the crawl space. We gotta take the snake eyes with us because if you crawl space in a Satan room and you leave, you will actually uh, spawn outside. Okay, don't die, please. So let's not do that. Please be a decent item. Wow, it was incredible. Never mind, totally worth it. I just paid three, or I guess four soul hearts for Deadeye, and I'm very happy with that transaction. However, I do need to find some soul hearts if you want this run to continue, and I really do because it seems really good. Phew. All right, let's get our gamer on. Here's an interesting one, Polished Bone. Uh, maybe controversial, but I truly think that this is a better item uh, than the Cricket's Leg. I think Cricket's Leg is really solid, but I would say that Polished Polished Bone has more defensive prowess. Here's something cool. Since we're ghosts, we have free devil deals, so this just turns into something we can take. And it- Oh! And it's an incubus. Nice. We can also apply this to the boss room coming up. If there is any time that Brimstone could show up on the run, right now would be the most preferable. Please and thank you. Hello, King, once again. Turdlet, my goat. Goodbye. And... Oh, wow, that's disgusting. But at least we got it out of the pool. Snake Eyes has been a really fun dice to play with so far. I suppose we didn't really get a chance to do this thing, huh? I don't think we have a battery. Even if we did, I don't have the cash. Cash being my life bar. So right side, rosary. There's the cash. Nice. Very, very good. We also got a ton of hearts. We will see Bible at some point in this run. But picking up the Bible should increase the chance of finding a library, which will just lead to... Uh, bookworm so is that not just a win-win scenario catacombs gaming what's good so uh, i would definitely say based on this run that i have that going full-on devil deals is a pretty regal strat stuff of royalty at this point mega powerful I, I don't think i could actually lose unless i get too low and too gamba heavy at which point that's my own fault but i think i'll be okay there's only been a few times where i've been one hp and that one hp is supplemented by the fact that i have so much damage so it's okay Finally not- okay, god damn it. <laughs> if this guy doesn't spawn an item, I'm gonna be furious because I was finally not blind. Okay, nice. 
I really, really want to roll this, but Steam Cell is solid. This early on Catacombs, it's still going to pay off. We know it's going to apply for at least one more shop, because even if we do get Greed one more time, turning that man into Super Greed, we're still going to get at least one shop. You guys think this is worth? What if a Magic Mushroom spawns? Okay, no. Worship card. We've seen this a few times. This gives you an item at the current pool that you're in, or a chance to just hit you for two. I'm sorry, what? Why the why, why the one? <laughs> why the one percent? <laughs> The worship card can hit you for two hearts. What's going on here? I've been getting a lot of these recently. Mars. You know, I'm not too much of a fan of Mars. It can get me hit. How about we double room planetarium this thing? Little horn I so badly want to take. I just need to find more HP to feel a bit more comfortable. But trust me, I will be taking if I feel like I can. Secret room, gaming, and to just some stuff here. No biggie. The one lonely mushroom at the end of the room that transfers into magic mushroom. One day, the prophecy will come true. I still get tweets from you guys sometimes. Make sure to follow me on uh, twitter.com slash lazymatman plug moment. Sometimes I get ads from people and they're like, hey, here's me getting magic mushroom from this mushroom. And every single time I see it, I don't actually get jealous. I'm proud. I'm like, nice dude. That's gamers hell. <laughs> Is that the end of the road? Where's my treasure room? Oh, there's one place I didn't go. Was all I needed to do really just go left? I I suppose so. I'm getting so many bobs and pickups, I feel comfortable about just blowing these stuff up. Even if it's not paying out whatsoever, which is making me less confident <laughs> in my abilities. I, you know, it's still worth it, I, I guess. There it is. Okay, so what is happening in here? This is a big gamble. If I wanted to roll this, and I don't, I really don't. This is a really, really good tier rate up. Not only for the fact that it's just a solid tier rate up in general, but it goes past the cap. So assuming we get one more tiers up, we will actually have 5.50 when 5 is typically the maximum and instead I think we'll spend our soul hearts on the uh, little horn oh my god <laughs> what's going on here I can't use this you kidding me I I literally cannot I have to spend my HP on the the planetarium play that's also scary though dude because I'm gonna be one do I trust myself like that not really I think I just gotta play on my stuff lock it in full focus I know there's no soul hearts anywhere that guy just died rest in peace him for forever forever his name shall be remembered the bone man uh yeah i guess we just go i mean i can handle just don't get tagged it's gonna be depths but it's gonna be okay can't get ahead of ourselves though we got a wretched fight right here who lasted absolutely no time whatsoever and maybe i just get an hp up no that's fine i'm not gonna you know roll this i can't take anything so we'll just we'll just go there's that 5.50 tier rate i was talking about over maximum because mom's perfume is just cool like that we're gonna need more hp for not only deals that that we want to take for this worship card that I have not been able to use. Let's keep an eye out for Tinted Rocks to get that done. I should have died. No, I really, I really should have died. I should have died and then I should have like restarted the recording. But I think, well, no, never mind. I was gonna say the game has mercy on me, but with these rooms, absolutely not. <laughs> What, what? Excuse me! I may be uber powerful, but that doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to have a heart attack every now and then. This is going to save my life. I have to go with it. What is the chance for this proccing? Isn't like some weird number like 21? 22. Why is it 22? And why was I that close, but not actually on the mark? <laughs> Ooh, we're good. <laughs> I would kill for an HP up right now. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Are you seeing what I'm doing to these monsters? I'm brutalizing them all. I truly mean it. Give me a chance to murder. I'll take it. Anything for my own gain right now. <laughs> ah, bombage. Okay, that's good. There's a lot of things I can do with bombage. I can guess the secret room. I can blow up those skulls and hope for a black heart. I know for a fact the secret room is here, so I'm just gonna go for this. It's just really, really obvious. And then hopefully it pays out. It did. Okay. It paid out with not what I was expecting, more just cash, but that can work out. As long as we play on top of our stuff, we'll find the shop eventually, I'm certain. I, uh, oof. I don't know how I feel about this decision, but I'm gonna go for this. Can you please? There's a card. I'm not sure what these community remix cards do too much. Born Orbitals, this is what we had earlier. This is huge. This is probably one of the only reasons why I've lived so long. Specifically stopping any kind of bullets in their track. One of the reasons why Book of the Dead is so broken in the first place. We found a treasure room. If it's decent, I'll take it. If it's not, I'll roll it. We could get a dead cat. And at that point, that would be basically wraps, I feel. GG at that point. Checkmate moment. So what's going on? It's a book. Well, I might as well use it, find the super secret, and then roll it into Purgatory. Uh, not too great. I'm gonna hope that the super secret's in this direction. I was wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Deadass wrong. But we're fine. We're, we're moving. Let's activate gamer mode and we'll be okay. No biggie. 
Please don't be super greed. Nice. It's not anything useful though. Damn it. <laughs> this is a... Uh, Take the fanny pack. Maybe a Hierophant card? Lovers. This is good. That's really, really good. We can use this the cold card to help us on a fight that we feel like we can't win. This is not one of those rooms, but... Well, on a room that I eventually find. This card will slow everything in the entire room. So I'll probably use it on like the boss or something. And then we can use that lovers card maybe on the super secret room. And give ourselves some good hearts if possible. Ay, 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 I've destroyed so many grimaces. Little Horn, I think, is the only reason that I've lived so far. Then again, if I didn't take Little Horn, I wouldn't be this low, but you know, whatever. Oh, I'm dead, bye. <laughs> now I'm really mad. <laughs> there was a soul heart? Okay, what, I, no, I'm actually going, I'm continuing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was one room off. I cannot believe this. I, I swear to God, sometimes the Binding of Isaac writes the script. I don't even write scripts for my videos. I just, I don't know. I say the word gamer a lot in moment. And you guys watch and I'm highly appreciative. But sometimes I feel like this game goes out of its way to script things for me. Just because it likes laughing in my face. Uh, we can't do much. We can't even do that lover's thing that I wanted to do because that super secret room is pretty bad. So let's just use the cold on the fall and slow him down. This is going to be another devil item but this one's gonna be free money equals power noise and i think we're good to go i mean not like i want to spend my hearts on the curse room yeah let's just leave i cannot believe there was a goddamn soul heart in the fire in the room that i died in because there was a super troll bomb and a regular troll bomb what kind of baloney oh wow there's another one okay guys hold on let me cook holy moly is that all you wanted from me a little bit of embarrassment now you're gonna feed me every heart known to man okay i'll take it a worthy trade deal thank you very much now we can start using the snake eyes more which is the whole point of the video so i'm very excited to get this going once more still looking for a god devil item we received incubus earlier which is huge now i'm looking for stuff like twisted i'm looking for mom's knife i'm even looking for scythes imagine scythes with this thing that would be so cool hello to the vault more hearts yeah this was actually all i needed to do it was a test of strength can you get through the entire floor without taking any damage and you know i i say i i did i did <laughs> it was more like that super secret room kind of cooked my ass but other than that i did kind of game on him so what is going on in here you think i'm gonna roll this are you crazy no absolutely not more pills we have uh yeah the lucky foot so we have so much luck actually there's the super greed we expected steam sale surely did not pay out that much no quarter so no devil deal from him uh, uh whatever we're just gonna move on no biggie the ghost pepper is really procking a lot more than i'm used to for luck with this thing is going kind of hard we have a lot of tier effects actually that are procking from luck so the high amount of luck that we've seen to naturally have found uh without really even trying is huge sigil of baphomet literally wins me the game i don't think i die anymore like i'm actually serious I, I i i can't die this trinket is a little bit genuinely broken i wouldn't be surprised when that new update comes out later in the year and they actually like nerf this thing by making it so the shield only lasts like a, a second less or something this thing is unironically cheap dude would i want it to be nerfed no i feel like uh, having op things in this game is uh, really fun but I, I wouldn't blame them if they did. We got two black hearts from the curse room. Uh, let's go defeat mom real quick. Hello, mother. Time to perform matricide. And let's go up because we have full soul hearts. So we're going to take advantage of full Polaroid invincibility. Ouija board into sulfur is okay. And uh, a hungry soul into vengeful spirit is even less okay. Well, let's move forward. If womb one is so great, why didn't they make womb two? All right, gamers, let's get gaming. What's in here? Skull Lex? This guy is absolutely nothing. Except when you have ocular rift, then he becomes a terrifying force to be reckoned with. He's done for though torn photo into what the hoo-ha are you let me guess what that is like a voodoo pin i guess i don't know i mean i don't it's like a pin with a, like a head so i imagine oh it's literally a voodoo pin <laughs> It's a 25% chance to take zero damage when getting hit. That is so huge. What a broken item. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna roll though. Eh, I get nothing. That seems so insanely massive, but I, I, you know, I'm trying to just get as many items as possible. Red hearts locked in. This is still relevant because we can always spend our hearts somewhere. And if I'm lucky with our navigation, I might be able to fight Hush. This is the perfect kind of build to fight Hush with as well because of Dead Eye Ghost Pepper. That man is immobile as hell. He kind of just takes the brute force of everything so if we can fight him we will demolish him i'm thinking we are going in the right direction i'm feeling kind of lucky this is very 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 
important though. Where I decide to go from here. I'm choosing right. Wow, I got it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Uh, super room? No? Yeah, I'm just gonna go, dude. I will take advantage of this. Absolutely. Last time recently, we were not able to hit Hush despite really trying. So this feels like a little bit of redemption. Goodbye, it lives. You gotta die a bit faster. I only got 10 seconds, please. Thank you. No deal, no deal. So many soul hearts as if I have miter, but I really don't and we made it just on time. Literally, exactly on time. A couple fast womb ones and womb twos. Now I'm cursed of the blind moment, so I'm a little bit mad. <laughs> but that's okay. I think the smart play here, now tell me if you agree, is we go here and we actually just guess. We, we take whatever we want. What say you? You say up or down? Oh, small rock. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go up. X-ray goggles. I maybe would have preferred more, but Spewer is cool as well. Spewer has effects based on the pills that you take, and we have all good pills, bad gas. Then we're gonna go in here, and we're also gonna take a random one. Let's take down this time. That's way better. Bloody Gust. Walk down here. We got a couple of on-sale items. I will take both of these. Ladder. I don't have mapping, so that's cool. Coupon is kind of useless, but that's okay. Give me that nickel into two of diamonds. Increase our damage greatly due to the money equals power. And now I'm gonna take a, this random item. It's the speed up. That really is something that we needed. I want to check out this card as well. A stars card, not too useful. Now that we know that we have an active item that is not too useful, we can roll this and then probably roll it again. And then I'll just take it. Hey, you know, conjoin is conjoined. So in truth, my original plan was that I was going to roll that golden chest that had the uh, speed up belt. Mainly because you know that golden chests don't have the most incredible items anymore in their pool. They used to be so insane. I think they used to have the cricket's head in it. No way was it cricket's head. I know at one point it used to have Steven, which I'm surprised they took that out. I guess it's because it didn't make sense and they replaced it with the stapler. But I don't know, something about not being able to find uh, Steven in the golden chest pool anymore. It like, I don't know, it doesn't sit well with my brain. I don't know, I just missed that man. But in general, in repentance, nowadays, we know that the golden chest pool is kind of whatever. So I was willing to re-roll that into a devil, but once we found that active item, you know, obviously that's gonna be our main choice instead. As I talk, I also brutalize Hush, traumatize that man with complete dominance, he's done for, and then I'd like to ascend today. Cathedral, what's going on, dude? Oh, that's a weird super wrath room. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to say in that Super Wrath room, to be honest with you. I mean, it was kind of weird to me, but that was about it. <laughs> Whenever I see Super Wrath, I just think, yeah, it's Super Wrath. I, what else does there to say? He's a really easy mini boss. <laughs> Not even I believed in my own joke in that moment. <laughs> Honestly, if you see that you deal that much damage to that kind of holy bony, you know that you are dealing damage. Because those guys do not die. Do they have boss armor? Does anyone know? Because the way that they die so incredibly slowly leads me to believe that they do. Same way like the shadies take hella long to die. Those bonies either have way more HP than they deserve to have or boss armor. More luck is going to be essential for the chest. I'm sure this is the way to the boss. It sure is. I'm about to fight myself, look at myself in the mirror, reevaluate, and I'm telling him to change his ways what's going on isaac time to flame on that was insanely easy let's see what the chest has for us and we're gonna go crazy with the snake eyes i don't know how much health i have <laughs> i haven't talked about it because it hasn't been relevant because these last floors i haven't had the need to use snake eyes but i do now i don't know how much i have i was gonna go crazy and turn every single one of these items into something that i want eventually you know but i don't i don't know how much i got i'll take the backstabber oh god the real cost soul hearts now i don't know dude where we're gonna handle this is i'm just gonna roll the starting room as much as possible until i force what i want mine is gonna be huge because we know we're gonna have hp back and being able to get three different devil items constantly every single four rooms is gonna prove to be very very essential to us i think we can basically force whatever item we want it's more like can i afford it with the health that i just lost i I uh, don't know if I can. I think I could take one. I wasn't paying attention to my HP. Don't act like you fully ever paid attention to your HP. Even if I did pay attention to it, the moment that I got to this floor, I guarantee you I would have forgotten anyway. But it doesn't matter because Super Bandage is here. Being my saving grace, now I know I can take whatever I want. Guppy's tail? Oh my goodness. You're gonna give me tail with five luck on the chest? Things just got massive. Hey, at least it's Curse of the Unknown and not Curse of the Blind as well. Soul Heart to boot. Miter's going crazy. Yeah, I think this is wraps, dude. This is completely over. We lock in the conjoined as well. Is this not conjoined? I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that's conjoined. 
<laughs> I I don't know that much about Isaac. I know like a fair amount. Every now and then, you know, I, I, I'll get knowledge checked or something. But I'm pretty sure that that is three babies that shoot and that's supposed to be conjoined. Sometimes I've seen something like this. Maybe you have to uh, pick up an item and then put it back down for Isaac to update itself. A, a passive item, not an active. But if this doesn't get me conjoined with the next time I take a passive, I'm genuinely confused. Like, was there a patch for Isaac yesterday that I didn't hear about? I play this game daily, so I, I feel like I would notice if something changed. Oh! Uh, Mom's knife is fat, but really bad because we have dead eye. Okay, nice. We got pencil. This is nice. We got another snake eyes. Let's use that. We've got a two deal to roll. Still looking for that big man item. Either a guppy item or brim or twisted. There's the guppy item and there's scythe. Uh, dude, I'll take scythe. This guppy's huge as well. We know that we can take whatever you want. It's dead cat, so even if we die, which we didn't, surprisingly to me, uh, we would have been fine. We're great. We're happy. We're chilling. Nothing can stand in my way. I have flaming scythes of death and they look incredible. We're gonna hope that the chest pays out relatively soon with the guppy's tail and hopefully with not such an incredible item so that way we can start rolling with the snake eyes again. This is such an effective item. I have gotten so completely broken by doing nothing but just spamming it. Like, just use it. No holding back. All low HP. Go crazy. Working out immensely for me. Hello. Is today the day that it pays out? No, not today. Maybe tomorrow. You'll have to check back. We do get a luck up though. Thanks for the luck up health up play. Going nasty with it. Now, where are those chests? Ah, there you are. That's a new item. What are you? That's definitely not vanilla. Oh, it's Max's tail. It's a damage multiplier. Depending Depending on how high your speed stat is, that my speed stat's pretty good, but I'd rather just roll. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take this instead. Ah, there's Blue Baby. I feel like we're basically done. Yeah, this is a super secret room, maybe, but other than that, probably nothing. We can't even roll that magic fingers. So what I feel like I should do instead for fun is uh, I'm gonna spam magic fingers in the Blue Baby fight. <laughs> Or, actually, this is way more fun. I have a D4, and I have all double dual items, so here's a guaranteed way to get Brimstone. Like, I don't see a way that I wouldn't get Brimstone. I found a way. It's not here. Surprisingly. Except I got an even cooler build. Something that is lagging my game immensely. This looks so cool. Oh my god, I see my frames dropping. We got Twisted Pair with this. I would actually say that's cooler than Brim. That's awesome. Let's use that against Blue Baby. How much damage are we doing? Even more than we were doing before. And that should be it. Snake Eyes went nasty. That was a really fun, really smooth run. And I absolutely adore you guys. Thank you so much. And GG!